Hello everyone and welcome to Chains and Gaming. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Cash and Guns. Cash and Guns is a level one pick up and play game for four to eight players that takes on average 30 to 45 minutes to play. In Cash and Guns, we play as a group of gangsters who just finished a massive heist and are now determining how to split the take between us. We'll bluff, threaten, and shoot each other to take the most we can for ourselves, each of us aiming to be the richest gangster standing. Set. Each player takes a foam gun, a player character, five click cards, and three bang cards. If you want, you can also deal a power card to each player face up, which they have access to all game. If you've got any questions about the power cards in play, there are some clarifications on page four of the rulebook. Shuffle all the loot cards together, then deal them into eight piles of eight cards, and set them aside for now. Place the wounds tokens nearby. Place the new Godfather card on the table as well, and give the oldest player the Godfather's desk. They'll be the first godfather for the game, and follow the rules on the back of the desk to guide proper play each round. How to play. At the start of each round, lay out all eight cards from the next stack of loot cards so everyone can read them. Next, each player will choose whether to place a bang card or a click card face down in front of them from their hand. You don't draw new cards throughout the game, so choose carefully. Next, the godfather will count to three. And on three, everyone points their foam gun at another player, holding them at gunpoint. If a player is too slow, they cannot threaten anyone this round. The godfather can then choose to force one player to change their target, and that player must change their target in what is known as the godfather's privilege. At this point, the godfather will count to three again, and on three, players can either lay down their character, removing themselves from the current round of looting, or shout BANZAI and stay standing. If a character lies down, their bullet card is discarded face down, as are the bullet cards of anyone pointing at them. Anyone still pointing at a standing player flips their bullet card. If it is a click card, there is no effect. But if it is a bang card, then the character receives a wound for each bang card directed at them, and they are unable to partake in the looting this round. If two players play bang cards on each other, they are both wounded. And any player who receives three wounds is removed from the game. Now, every player still standing that isn't wounded goes on to split the loot that is present. Starting with the Godfather and going clockwise, each player takes a single card of loot, or takes the card for the Godfather's desk, claiming the Godfather's desk and its privilege for the next round. Continue going clockwise until all the loot has been claimed. The loot cards have a variety of effects. The bills are worth the amount listed. The diamonds are worth the amount listed on the card, and Whoever has the most diamond cards at the end of the game gets an extra $60,000 bonus represented by this tile. On a tie, no one gets the bonus. The paintings are worth more the more you have. The specific scale is on the screen right now, or available on page three of the rulebook on the right and on the cards themselves. The first aid kit heals all the wounds of the player who picks it up. The clips cards allow players to take a bang card from the discard pile, either face up or face down, and add it to their hand discarding another card. It is recommended that you store your loot cards face down, so the other players can't exactly keep track of how much you've earned. Once all eight rounds of loot cards have been distributed, count up your riches, and whoever has the highest total is the winner. If there is a tie, whoever has the most wounds wins. And if this is still a tie, the victory is shared. Note that only players that are still alive can claim victory, meaning if there's ever only one player left alive, they automatically win. So load your firearms, and prepare to bluff and threaten your way into the most riches, and claim for yourself the biggest slice of pie, and you can become the richest gangster of all. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to pose them in the comments below, or take a look to see if someone else has already answered it down there, and be sure to thank them if they have. If you want to learn more about what our ranking system means, check out this video here. And if you want to learn how to play more games, check out our playlist here. And remember, Keep changing, keep gaming, have fun.